Well, good evening. Welcome to Hoop State. Our minds are with our friends in the state without power and dealing with the flooding tonight. Many cancellations due to the winter storm, but for some, the games went on in Portland. A possible state championship preview on Ocean Avenue with Shevers hosting Thornton in a girls matchup. Stags trailed by one after one, but rallied in the second. We're up 12 going into the fourth. Emma Lizot, the former Stag, who won a championship there, pulled her team within nine. But then Ruth Bowles working the glass for the basket inside. She had 13. And then off of the press, it's Maddie Fitzpatrick coming up with an incredible play here, snatching the pass out of the air, going in for two. Later, Fitzpatrick calls for the screen. She gets it, pulls up, fills it up. Lead up to 14. The Stags run out the clock from there. 53-40, Chevers with the win. According to our friend of the show, Michael Hoffer, Fitzpatrick with 22-12 and seven steals. Rivalry game on Stevens Avenue. Deering hosting Portland in a girls matchup. Rams by a point early on, but they go on a run. Natalie Santiago, count it, she had 20. Then in the half court set, Angelina Keo with the floater for Deering. She chipped in with 10. Maya Gale imposing her will inside, grabbing the board, putting it back up. And then Gale cutting in the offense with the basket and Deering hangs on for the win, 45-39. Lewiston girls traveled south to take on Noble. Blue Devils led from the start. Ellie Laguerre spots up from the corner. That is good. Lewiston up 50. Then Coral Morin drives and splits the defenders for the floater. Later on the fast break, Vermont bound senior Natalie Bowden with the lay-in, 99-7. Lewiston there, 3-0. All right, on the boys' side, both Shevers and Thornton have lived up to the preseason billing. Out to unbeaten starts heading into tonight through two weeks. They met in Saco this evening. Pick up the action late in the third quarter. Leo McNabb can't give him that much room, knocks it down. He had 17. Shevers up by three, 48-45. Other way, Wyatt Benoit, he has been rolling, splits the defenders. In the fourth, Maddox Weisberg. Works inside for the basket and the foul. Then Gio St. Owens, the baseline J, he had 12 for the Stags. Benoit putting on a show again. 37 in this one, including that impossible shot. But St. Owens dishing this time to Weisberg, who had 11. 66-64, the Stags stay unbeaten. City rivalry at the Expo, Deering and Portman for the Rams. Evan Legassi, that's a major league shot, he had 20. Other way, Kevin Rugabira. Slices through the D off glass. Hey, you know, Kathleen is always saying, where's the defense in these highlights, Travis? How about here? Pepito Guru with the rejection skying. Later in the second, Josiah King, the putback, we're tied at 16. Then Jamal, Justin Jamal, the floater. And then Jamal finds Tayshawn Cleveland at the buzzer. Deering comes back to tie it at 20, going to the half. Second half belong to Portland. Ruga Birwa from downtown knocks down the triple. Then in transition, Ruga Birwa to Drew Veyu. He had 20. Portland wins at 56-46. Big one on Thursday at the Expo. They host Chevers. Edward Little and Sanford both going for their second win of the year. Late in the first half, Eli St. Laurent hits the three from the wing. Eddies get the bucket. He had 15. On the other end, Dylan Gendron answers with a three. He had 12. Then Makai Bougie in transition. The good body control to finish it. Spartans up six. Marshall Adams, he'll knock that down all day. Hits the three, he had 20 for EL. And then Bougie again to Tanner McCann. Or rather Bougie there, Tanner McCann had 21. 60 to 51, Sanford gets win number two. Noble in the Lewiston strong jerseys at Lewiston tonight. Blue Devils in a big hole late, but Adam Zeininger with a nice drive off glass. And then Ahmed Abdiraham working inside, 4-2 for the big man. The other way for the Knights, John Blanchard. The dish to Ethan Stokes for the basket. Noble walks out of Lewiston with a 66-40 win. They've won three straight. Now in South Portland, a pair of schools have reached the state finals in each of the last two years. With differing results, South Portland hosting Falmouth tonight. Red Riots in a 10-point hole to start the fourth. So pull out and running. Manny Hidalgo to Darius Johnson. It's a five-point Falmouth lead. Hidalgo would go out with his fourth foul briefly, and Falmouth answers. Billy Burks, that is smooth off the inbounds, play for three. Without Hidalgo, they go inside. Gabe Galarraga the basket. The Falmouth counters by going to its big man. It's Chris Simons, the power move. He had 17 and 12. For South Portland, Hidalgo back. The quick move and the spin. He has been unstoppable so far. He had 28. But Simons 
Well, to go with that double-double, also had at least one assist. He might add more, but I can prove that one right there to Jace Meter. 59-50 Falmouth, they're 3-0. South Portland drops to 0-4. All right, 3-0 Wells hosting Marshwood. Caden Springer getting things going for the Warriors. Drives and dishes it off to Eli Roy for the lay-in. He had 14, Warriors up 10 after one. Liam Tiernan trying to spark a Marshwood run. He hits the three from the corner. Wells goes on another run. Nolan Brown inside to Spencer Carpenter for the lay-in. Warriors turn up the pressure. Roy forces the turnover ahead to Jeremy Tarrin for the lay-in. He had 12, 44-27. Wells, they're 4-0. Rivalry game really at gray, and they didn't play in the fog, just some condensation on the camera. Watch Andrew Padgett of Greeley. If you could find him in the fog, one motion puts up the loose ball and in. For Gray, Aiden Hebert, the nasty hesitation move to Carter Libby. Another good move, Ethan Michaud, the crossover to Cade Ippolito inside for the dunk. He had 16, really down though, 30 to 20. Gray goes on a run, Hebert to John Patino for three, he had 18. Then Nate Hebert blows through the D for the lay-in, he had 18. 68-52, Gray, they've won three straight. All right, Santa in the house is 3-0. York hosting Westbrook. Blue Blazes score off the opening tip when Aiden Taylor tips it ahead to Jackson Young for the land. He had 10. York goes on a first quarter run. Connor Robert spots up and knocks down the three. Then Lucas Bouchard showing off the moves after the offensive rebound. He had 12 points, 12 rebounds. Ryan Cummins then drives and kicks to Reese McDonald. He had 13, 58-39. York is 4-0. Biddeford girls coming off their first win, hosting Freeport. Freshman Jordan Crump taking over in the third. She drives, hits the pull-up J. Then she would hit the three. She had 10 of her 17 in the quarter. Biddeford took the lead. But at the end of the quarter, Emily Groves gets the shot down for Freeport. She had 10. Falcons rally in the fourth for the 45. 41 room there, three and one. All right, elsewhere, Gray and Greeley going at it. Zeta Smith running the show for the Rangers. She's going to find CeCe Berthume after she saves it. Greeley up nine early on, but Gray would rally. Abby Steele, check out the baseball pass to Izzy Morelli. 53-43, Gray with the win. Morelli with 27 in the game. She helps her team go three and one. That's Hoops 8 for tonight. More action coming up on Hoops 8, a special Thursday night edition. We've got the highlights on WMTW.com. More coverage when we come back.